Hi, this is Mohamed Soket, Ahmed Alugaili, and Manos Brilakis presenting case 177 for the Manual of Percutaneous Coronary Interventions. This is a case of a difficult to wire lesion in the ostium of the right coronary artery. The patient was an elderly woman who presented with chest pain, had a positive troponin, and was sent for emergency cardiac cath. She didn't have any significant lesions in the left coronary system. However, there was a 99% very tight osteal right coronary lesion. The problem was uh, engagement and advancing a guide wire. Several guides were used, including a Williams right, a JR4, a hockey stick, an IM, and a 3D right. But despite all those guides, uh, the RCA could not be wired. The only wire that could be advanced was a polymer jacketed whisper wire going into this conus branch. So the procedure was eventually stopped and the patient was referred to us the following day. And we had the same issue. Engagement was very challenging. We eventually used a Severn French AL0.75 guide, but all the wires wanted to go into the conus branch because of the severe lesion in the proximal right coronary artery. But making this big bend was extremely challenging. Our initial thought was to use a dual lumen microcatheter over this uh, conus wire and then advance the wire into the RCA. However, this was difficult to do and there was not much support, so we could not advance the dual lumen microcatheter. It took quite some time and multiple attempts we tried to redirect the conus wire into the RCA, but every time we withdrew it and we re-advanced, the wire kept on getting into this conus branch. So what to do next? We tried different wires. We tried a Minamo workhorse, a SUO3 over a microcatheter, a standard Corsair excess microcatheter, no support. And finally, we did use the airmail approach. We did put a bigger band on a Fielder XTR, which is a soft uh, polymer jacketed tapered guide wire. And then after doing that, we were able to advance it across this significant band into the right coronary artery. This is an example of the airmail technique. We're not really engaged uh, as well into the vessel. We're wiring from below the vessel, but we were eventually able to advance this wire. We then exchange it over the microcatheter for a more supportive wire, this is a wiggle wire. And then we remove the polymer jacketed wire from the conus to minimize the risk of any complications such as perforation, predilated, the intravascular ultrasound that does show some calcification going to the ostium of the right coronary artery. And then uh, with uh, an endoscalp balloon, there was good expansion. We placed a drag eluting stent, tightly protruding it into the aorta. Post dilated, did the osteal flush balloon, which helps flare the struts of the stent, essentially trying to oppose them better against the wall of the aorta. And uh, we did have a nice final result. Uh, this is the final IVUS, good stent expansion. The stent essentially is extending all the way into the aorta. And the minimum lumen area was 7.4 millimeters square, which is pretty good. So to summary, this was a case of a difficult to engage and wire right coronary artery. The wires kept on going into a conus branch. The way that we solve this problem is to use a wire in this conus branch as an anchor wire to kind of align the guide catheter. And then we use the air mail technique, which is advancing a guide wire, in this case over a microcatheter, from the guide that is not completely engaged. And this wire, the filter XTR in this case, successfully went over the right coronary artery. Then, after successfully crossing the RCA, we did exchange it for the more supportive guide wire, the wiggle wire, to be able to perform the PCI and get a nice result. And we also used IVUS and the osteal flush balloon to optimize the result of the ostium of the right coronary artery. Thank you.